Hello everyone, today I'm going to show how to use the object generator to automate repetitive tasks in ANSYS Mechanical, like creating bolt pretensions or beam connections. So we have this assembly in ANSYS Mechanical of two flanges and a bolt pattern of 12 bolts, and we want to create bolt pretensions on each of these 12 bolts. So if I hide the flanges, you can see the, uh, the bolts, the bolt heads, the nuts, and the washers are shown here. Um, so we can go ahead and create our first one manually, and we'll use that one as a sort of template uh, with the object generator to create the other 11. So I'm just going to create a bolt pretension, and it's scoped to that one face there. I'm going to load that up to 500 pounds force in the first step, and then we'll go ahead and lock it for the second step. So that's gonna be uh, the one that we use sort of as our template to create the rest of our bolt pretensions. And then anytime you're using the object generator, you'll want to create a name selection uh, for all of the geometry that's gonna be scoped um, for the items that are generated by that object generator. So let's go ahead and select uh, one of our faces here that we, we want the bolt pretension on. And then we can use the tools for uh, up in the toolbar here, select by size, same size, and that grabs all 12 of them. And then I can right click in the graphics window and create a name selection. And we'll just call this bolt faces. So now in the tree, we have this name selection for all 12 of those bolt faces. Now to use the object generator, um, you can basically use it to generate any object in the tree that is scoped to um, geometry. So if I select the bolt pretension here in the tree, I just go to the Automation tab, Object Generator, and whatever you have selected in the tree will be your template. And then in terms of the selection for what it's scoped to, I'm going to use that name selection, Bolt Faces, and then I'll leave this box checked right here to ignore original so that we don't get a duplicate on the face right here that's in that name selection, but we already have a bolt pretension for it. So I click generate, and in the tree, you can see now we have 12 bolt pretensions that close out of the object generator. I can select all of them. You can see in the graphics window that we now have one bolt pretension on each of the 12 bolts, and this thing is pretty much ready to go at this point. I show all the bodies here. So this would be a, a detailed analysis of uh, running the, the bolt pretensions on all of these uh, solid bodies that are representing um, the bolts here. So this is one way to run this type of analysis. Um, there is another way to run this type of analysis that's more simplified. So this one right here with the solid body representations for everything would be good if you need accurate uh, stress distributions in um, all of the you know bolt and nut bodies and everything and the washers. Um, but if you're only interested in accurate stresses on the flanges themselves, then we can actually simplify this analysis down and use beam connections instead of solid bodies um, for these bolts. So I'll show you how to do that next. So let's select all of these bodies, and I'll right-click and suppress them. And then we can get rid of these bolt pretensions that we made, and we're going to set this up using beam connections and put bolt pretensions on those beam connections. So we uh, are going to create our first beam connection. Right-click on connections, insert beam. This is going to have a one-inch radius, and we'll just create our first one from this face on sort of the bolt side of things to this face on the nut side. And you can see that's our beam connection. It uses a beam element under the hood to connect those two faces together. And we're gonna use this one as our template, um, but we do need to create a couple of name selections. So let's hide this body. Let's select um, all of these faces for these holes using that same select by same size. I'll hit the N key to create a named selection, and we'll call this uh, bolt sides. And then I can go ahead and invert visibility and basically do the same thing on the other side. 
and we'll call this nut sides. So now we should be able to use the object generator to quickly create the rest of our beam connections using this one as a template. So we'll go to the object generator. So the reference side, there's two geometry scopings, right? The reference and the mobile side. Reference will be the bolt sides and mobile will be nut sides. For the you know, material assignment and radius and all of that, it's gonna use whatever we used in the template uh, for this, the first beam connection that we created. And then uh, beam length, I'll set this, basically it's gonna look for centroids of faces on either sides of these two name selections that are within three inches of each other. So let's go ahead and generate that. Close out of the object generator and we should now have 12 beam connections, which you can see in the bottom left that we do. You can also see that each of these holes has been filled, so we don't have any duplicates or any, any missing spots. These should be good. Then if we want to quickly create um, bolt pretensions on these beam connections, I would say the fastest way to do that is just to drag them onto static structural here. So that creates all of those. Then we can go ahead and load those up 500 pounds uh, in the first step. And then we will lock that in the second step. So now this is an equivalent analysis to what we showed first with the solid bodies that we applied bolt pretensions to using the, the object generator. Um, this is a simplified analysis where we use the object generator um, to create beam connections and then apply those same bolt pretensions to the beam connections. So this is how you can use the object generator in a couple of different ways um, to simplify and automate your tasks in ANSYS Mechanical. For more tips and tricks in ANSYS Mechanical, visit our website using the link in the description below.